The small pile of wood there on the edge of the sand is all that remains of the wheelhouse from the crab boat Mary B2. This picture from Newport News Times shows the boat two days ago as it offloaded its crab. That's Josh Porter standing in the boat. He's from Toledo, Oregon. The other two on the boat, Skipper Stephen Bernacki and James Lacey, are from New Jersey and apparently new to West Coast crabbing and the conditions here. Josh, he's a great guy. I mean, I've known him for a lot of years. Um, we've gotten really close in the fishing community. We've traveled all over the place together. Ian Wood may have been the last person to communicate with Porter. They texted last night as the storm in the Pacific got worse. So in your text, you're saying, why are you going out? We're coming in. This is too yeah. dangerous. Yeah, pretty much. And he's, he asked us why we were getting towed in. So it was just a bad day yesterday. He is heartbroken that his friend did not listen. Yeah, it got really rough out there and they just shouldn't have been out there. But they were. Around 10 p.m. after all the other boats were safely in the harbor, the Coast Guard said it noticed the lights of the Mary B2 as the crew headed for the bar. Two Coast Guard boats went to help and saw the crabbers were too far north, in danger of running into the right side of the jetty as they came into the docks. So when they squared up or turned to sea in the position they were in, they were over the submerged north reef of Yukona Bay Bar, and they took about a 20-foot uh, breaker over the bow. It disappeared. Despite rescue efforts from the air and on land, all three men died. The impact is still sinking in good all-around guy. Just a, it's a real, real blow to our community because we're all br brothers. Friends of Josh Porter, the local fisherman, are holding a prayer vigil for him right now at the Yoquina Bay Lighthouse. Back to you.